In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can create a pop-up or a slide-in form for ConvertKit to go onto your WordPress website. So the way it works, I'm logged into my ConvertKit uh, account here. I'm going to go up to Grow and then to Landing Pages and Forms to get started. And I'm going to go down here and click Create New Form or Create New and choose Form. Now this is where we have a few options. We have a modal or a slide-in and the process is pretty much the same. But I'm going to click on modal for now. We then scroll through and find something that we think appeals to us. So maybe something like this one here, this form layout works for me. I click choose and we can start editing. So the way it works is maybe you want to actually have some kind of freebie on there. So when you're actually setting this form up, head to settings. Don't forget to explore these pages for yourself. But uh, what you can do is go down to incentive and where it says send incentive email, you can actually set up a download and upload a file. So if you actually got someone who's signing up for access to a PDF, then you can use that as an incentive or even send them to a URL with a few more bits and pieces on there and uh, go that way. So one other thing while we're here, if we go into general, we have a few display options. Exit intent, this is what shows up when someone looks like they're about to exit the page, the pop-up will trigger and therefore they will, instead of having something pop up while they're reading the page, it'll actually just pop up when they're trying to leave. So that can be a powerful way to not really get annoying, but uh, just grab people's attention before they leave. But alternatively, you can wait until they scroll to a certain portion of the page or even just have it wait five seconds before triggering. Uh, and of course, you can choose if you only want this to happen on desktop or mobile devices. And uh, if someone gets the pop up, you want to make sure you leave it for a certain amount of time before I see it again, you can set a time, say 15 days. So people should not see that pop up more than once every 15 days on your website. So you can change that as well. So a few options there to consider when setting this up. Domain name, I tend to leave pretty much the same, advanced. You can choose to hide the form if a subscriber is already on your website, or you can show some custom content. I would say just hide the form if you want to, and um, if you want to protect against spam, enable your visible recapture. I'm going to save that. Now we can start at editing our pop-up. So I'm just going to sort of, when we first start off, there's a general styles tab here on the right. This is the template we've chosen. We can change that template, but uh, generally speaking, I'm just going to stick with what we've chosen. And you can start off, I'm going to go to this background here and I'm going to change it. I can either edit, and then I have some options here. I can actually mark up and I can draw or put arrows on there if I want to. I can change the contrast and colors of the photo. I can make some basic changes and choose filters to get a look that I want or even crop that image. But for now, I don't want to do that. I want to cancel and choose a completely separate image. So I'm going to go to replace. I can upload a file or I can go to unsplash over here, which I'm going to do for the sake of the video. And I'm going to type in BMX. And we're going to pop this image here. So we've got a little BMX image here and maybe we want to call this form, uh, you know, 10 BMX tricks that are easy. And we put a little bit of information here on check out our free guide showing you how to do these tricks. So you have something there, something like a, a download or something like that, you can pop that in there. And if I click on this heading, I can change the font weight to bold, whatever, I can change the color. Maybe I want it to match this blue a little bit, so I choose something similar to that, just to kind of match that up. I can just change the color. I can also go back to general styles and I can add custom CSS if I want to. So if you want, if you are looking to change the font and you know some CSS, you can do it that way. But generally speaking, I'm gonna click on here. I've got my font color. I can click down here and maybe the gray doesn't suit. I want that font color to be black. And of course I go down here and I've got my field. I can add in fields here. So I can add a custom field, first name. I can make it a required field if I want to and even change the form colors to something darker. The background color could even be something slightly funky, a bit of a yellow if you wanted to go that way. It doesn't look too good, but you get the idea. And that's pretty much it. And there's little rounded corners up here. If you change that border radius to say 100, you will notice, whoops. For some reason, it's actually not changing. 100, enter. The border radius 
Oh wait, this is over here on the form. <laughs> so I'm changing the form border radius. I'm going to change that back to zero. But you get the idea. On the image or in the background itself, that option might be there. I'm not sure. But that custom field's in there, and I can choose this button. Change that background color again to the blue. I can even change the radius on that too. So 100, make it a round button. So you've got a few options here that are worth playing with. Nothing too extreme to get the idea. I can change the background of the whole pop-up to something else. So maybe I make that black, which means I'll come in here and make that text white. And I've sort of customized my pop-up and get it looking the way I want. So just check out these settings. There's not a lot with this particular template and the templates are generally designed to be easy to edit, which is why there's not a ton of options. But uh, once you're happy with it, we're gonna hit save and then we're going to publish. Now, if you actually have WordPress, there is a, uh, a WordPress plugin you can get, which I will pop a, uh, a video card to at the end. But for now, we're gonna stick with the JavaScript. We're gonna copy this JavaScript here and we're gonna head on over to a web page and pop it in there. Okay, I've got a little WordPress web page here and I'm going to just, if I wanna add this form in, I'm just going to click here, hit enter to create a little space here for a block. I'm gonna hit plus and add in a HTML form. And of course, I can just right click, paste the HTML in there and update the page. And now the page has been updated. I switch to the public side of the page. So I click on the about us page. And if I go to leave at some point, that pop-up will appear. And there we have it. So that's how we add a pop-up onto our page. The slide in form is pretty much the same process if you wanna try that as well, but that's how you create a modal pop-up. The other thing you can do, if I X out of this for a moment, is if I head back to the editor, if I have the WordPress plugin installed, I can scroll down and choose the form there. Now the form isn't showing up because I've just created it. So I'm gonna actually head back out into my WordPress dashboard by clicking at the W here. I'm gonna go down to settings and convert kit. I then go over to my API key, I hit enter. So I click in the field, hit enter to sort of reset that API key. Now I'll go back to my pages. I find about us, which is on here somewhere. And now I scroll back down to my convert kit area and where it says form, I now have my form in there, which I can't remember the name of, but <laughs> it's in there, I'll just quickly not. So it's the Poplar form, and the Poplar form is down the bottom. So that's pretty simple. If you haven't set up the WordPress plugin, I'm gonna pop a video card up in a sec, but otherwise that is pretty much how you get a modal pop-up on your website from ConvertKit, especially if you're using WordPress, it's very easy. So I hope you enjoyed the video, I hope you found it useful. Check out all the other, I've got a bunch of other ConvertKit tutorials in the description below. I hope you find those ones useful. Otherwise, uh, thanks for watching the video and I hope you have a great day. See you again soon.